पैंटलून्स फेमिना मिस इंडिया 2008 की इस खूबसूरत शाम में आप सबका स्वागत है लेट्स बिगिन द इवनिंग विद अ कलेक्शन व्हिच इज एन इंस्पिरेशन टू मिलियंस एंड द इमेजिनेशन ऑफ वन ब्रिलियंट माइंड द कल्चर एंड कलर्स ऑफ इंडिया ट्रांसलेटेड इनटू कॉस्ट्यूम्स ऑफ इंडिया बाय द लेडी ऑफ ड्रेप्स शाइना एनसी Presenting the 28 contestants of Pantaloons Femina Miss India 2008 in sarees by Shaina NC adorned in jewelry from the Femina collection designed by Collection G by D Dama's Gold and World Gold Council in this stunning act choreographed by the world renowned name in salsa and ballroom dancing Sandeep Soparka Ladies and gentlemen please put your hands together for the designer herself Shaina MC take you through this scintillating voyage of success dreams aspirations colors music and fashion here are our masters of the ceremony for the evening 
Femina Miss India Asia Pacific 2000 and a truly gifted artist along with the man who launched Dia's dreams. The Rena Hai Tere Dil Mein lead pair, the breathtakingly beautiful Dia Mirza and the very adorable and handsome star actor Madhavan. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. They are beautiful, gorgeous as ever. Thank you. I'm wearing China NC. <laughs> I'm sure. Little nervous? Uh, you know, actually, I thought I'd be very nervous, but I'm not. I'm actually feeling extremely nostalgic. I wow. mean, eight years ago, I was on this very stage, and my life was about to change. And boy, did it change. <laughs> It really, really shaped my life, this one night. Like it's going to change for the three winners tonight? Actually, not just the winners. I think every single girl who takes part in this contest is going to have a life-changing moment tonight. Yeah, I think uh, I agree with you that, yeah, because I remember I was in this industry with a show with this industry. I was in the final round, I was in the question and answer session. I thought that I had a lot of right ways. People were playing with the ballet, but... एलिमिनेशन राउंड जब आया तो सबसे पहले मुझे घर का रास्ता दिखाया गया मुझे लगा कि सारे दरवाजे बंद हो गए दैट बी द एंड ऑफ माय सोजोन इनटू द बॉलीवुड इंडस्ट्री बट दैट्स नॉट ट्रू आई एम स्टैंडिंग एट इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू सो दैट्स ट्रू एंड आई थिंक दैट्स व्हाट मेक्स दिस कांटेस्ट ट्रूली स्पेशल दैट ईच एंड एवरी गर्ल is selected from thousands of girls across the country and now this year even across the world. So remember girls, the fact that you're on the stage means you're very, very special. So true, dear. In a short while from now, for three girls, dreams will become a reality. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the Plantaloons Femina Miss India 2008. Welcome to the spectacular night of beauty, excitement, suspense, thrill, fun, and entertainment. You name it. And I hope, like we all do, may the best man win. Oh, sorry, in this case, the best lady win. Yeah, I think you're going to be the only man on stage tonight. Proud. <laughs> <laughs> Before we move on, we'd like to acknowledge and thank Pantaloons, our title sponsor who have been instrumental in grooming our contestants in the latest fashion through the last few weeks. Hamdard Safi, Liberty and Radio Mirchi, our associate sponsors. Liberty Footwear Fashion is also our official footwear partner who will tonight showcase the Senorita Miss India collection. We'd also like to thank our official jewelry and craft sponsors collection G by D Damas Gold and World Gold Council who've designed exclusive Miss India crowns for the pageant which you can see here on stage tonight. Maddie, हमें तो एक दूसरे से को देखकर अच्छा लगा पर सबको अच्छा लगने के लिए I think you know this evening won't be completed without our judges, right? I mean, yeah, it will be nice if we can judge this, but... Oh, it'll be nice if I can judge it, but then, no, we definitely need qualified <laughs> people have, to do that. We have something worked out. You do? Yeah, every time we like a girl a lot, we're just going to wink at the judges. Right. I've been bribed for it already, but... <laughs> Should we just announce who the judges are? <laughs> Shall we? Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, meet the people who decide the face of India for this year and the fate of this competition. And the first one, the lady who broke all rules to create her very own, India's first ever bombshell and one of my favorite actresses. Please welcome Miss Zenith Aman. Welcome, ma'am. I hope you have a very good evening. The king of couture, this genius is a founder member on the board of governors of the Fashion Design Council of India and the official brand ambassador for Swarovski India, Mr. JJ Valaya. Welcome to you, sir. Okay. BBC referred to her. Gautier of the East. She's one of the best-selling fashion designers amongst the creme de la creme. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Rina Dhaka. Rina, have a 
great evening. He stylized choreography and took it to a new dimension. One of the most creative personalities in the industry, one of my favorite people, Shah Magdawar. Hey, Shamak. Welcome, Shamak. Very good. And now for a dashing editor-in-chief of The Times now, who's taken constructive journalism to a completely different peak, Mr. Arnab Goswami. Good evening, sir. Welcome. A powerhouse of talent and beauty that's eternal. A woman of substance. And yes, my personal favorite, Tabu. The lady who's got the looks and the charisma and the luck and the talent and billions of absolutely crazy fans like me, Katrina Kaif. Welcome, Katrina. I hope you have a great evening. Ladies and gentlemen, before we proceed to round one, I'd like to thank all our sponsors. Our title sponsors, Pantaloons. Our associate sponsors, Liberty, Hamdard Safi, and Radio Mirchi. Our crown and jewelry partner, Collection G by Didamas Gold and the World Gold Council. Host Hotel, Sun and Sand, Mumbai. Co-sponsors, official hair care experts, Richfield Trichology Center, Vague Eyewear, Jealous 21, Agile, I'm uh, very sorry, it's Vogue Eyewear. Uh, <laughs> I was wondering whether you're Jealous 21, <laughs> Agile, Wrigley Orbit Sugar-Free Chewing Gum, and Luxotica Eyewear India Private Limited. Dr. Purnima's gorgeous cosmetology center and SOTC. It's my turn now. Finally. Our television partner, Sony Entertainment Television, official online partner, India Times Mail, See. reality <laughs> series partner, Zoom Entertainment Television, English news channel partner, Times Now, event managed by 380 Degrees Experience, 360 Degrees Experience, scripting and show direction, Muranis and Surma of Cine Yuga Entertainment. It's time when all the girls who have come from all walks of life will walk on this ramp right now. And this year, this Talash, Dubai, Oman and London has reached Dubai. Correct. Our finalists have styled this round for this round. And this year, the pantaloons collection has been prepared by Ramanika. Inspired by the colors of the season, the collection comprises of pinks, blues and greens. These designers have been created keeping in mind the young, vibrant woman of today who is aspiring to be a beauty queen. The contestants will walk the ramp in the elegant and sexy shoes by Liberty Sonorita Femina Miss India 2008 collection. Hmm, so let's begin round one of Pantaloons Femina Miss India 2008 choreographed by our official contestant director and choreographer Mr. Hemant Trivedi and music mixed live by none other than DJ Iggy. Get to meet them one by one. Contestant number one from Dubai, Akanksha. <laughs> A 
Hello everyone. I'm Akanksha Mansukhani, 22 years old and I'm from the city of Gold, Dubai. I have a lot of ambitions. Now talking about my short term ambition, my ambition is to be Femina Miss India 2008. And talking about my long term ambition, my ambition is to win the Miss Universe title which we haven't had it from a long time now. From Mumbai, contestant number two, Aditi. Namaskar. My name is Aditi Singh and I am from Bombay. My age is 21 years old. I feel that I should be Pantaloons Femina Miss India 2008 because I truly feel that I am Femina. Feminine, ethical, intelligent, mature, natural and adorable. Contestant number three is from Nagpur in Maharashtra, Akshma. Hi, I'm Akshma Singh Bes, 23 years of age, from the city of Oranges, Nagpur. I love music, writing and reading. The kind of love a person has for someone you want to get married to is the kind of love I have for Femina Miss India. From New Delhi, contestant number four, Alicia. Hi, I'm Alicia Pekha. I'm 21 year old and I'm from New My hobbies include traveling, reading, and of course, modeling. I have what it takes to be the next Miss India, as I just don't have the beauty, but also the soul which longs to serve the nation. From the land of Nawabs, Lucknow, contestant number five, Isha. Namaskar. I'm Isha from the Nawabi city of Lucknow. I'm 22 years of age and I love traveling and learning new languages. My ambition is to become a successful entrepreneur in the catering industry. I have better communication skills than any of my fellow contestants here. From Mumbai now is contestant number six, Farah. Hi, I'm Farah Parvaresh. I'm 23 years old and I come from the city of opportunities, Mumbai. While currently I'm pursuing my MA in philosophy, I have been a national gold medalist in handball and also had the privilege to play for my country internationally. Men's faith in God and an attitude that doesn't change but just improves with time. From the sunny state of Goa is contestant number seven, Harshita. Namaste. My name is Harshita Saxena, 20 years of age, and I hail from the beautiful city of Goa. I believe that I should be Pantaloon Femina Miss India 2008 because I possess all the qualities that a Miss India should have. I'm a very confident, strong, and positive human being. And most of all, I believe in myself. From the historical city of Gwalior comes contestant number eight, Kajal. Namaste India. I am Kajal Jain, 23 years old, from the Gwalior, Madhya Pradesh. I dance, karna, music, and I feel very good to dance. I like my thoughts, my thoughts, my thoughts, my thoughts, my thoughts, my thoughts. जो मुझे लोगों से डिफरेंट बनाती हैं।
Kasakai Mumbai contestant number 9 from Mumbai Karishma Namaskar main hu Karishma Gupte main Mumbai ki rehne wali hu aur main 21 saal ki hu novels padhna aur film mein dekhna mera shauk hai aur dancing mujhe bahut pasand hai I should be pantaloons feminine miss India because I am a modern Indian woman who believes in herself is hard working and deserves to win Contestant number 10 from Hyderabad is Kavya. Hello everybody, I'm Kavya Bali, a 20-year-old from the city of Pearls, Hyderabad. I'm pursuing my degree in BCom honors. I have the spark, the fire and the conviction to last forever. I am the next Miss India because I believe in myself. From Mumbai now is contestant number 11, Lekha. Hi, I'm Lekha Anantraman. I'm 21 years old. I'm basically from Pune and now I'm residing in Mumbai. Femina Miss India is like a stepping stone to success for me. And after Miss India, it's only going to be rising up and no looking backwards. Also representing Mumbai is contestant number 12, Malvika. Hi, I'm Malvika Rani from Mumbai. I'm 21 years old. I enjoy writing, traveling and interesting conversation. My ambition in life is to become a person that I am very proud of. To me, the pageant is a great platform for a young girl to showcase her talents and personality to the world. From Ahmedabad now is contestant number 13, Manisha. Hi, I'm Manisha Yadav. I'm 20 years of age and I come from Gujarat. I believe in working hard and trusting God and hence more than tension, I'm super excited for the pageant. Apart from confidence and determination, I have the best intentions at heart and that is what is going to make me win. From the backwaters of Kerala comes contestant number 14, Parvati. Hi, I'm Parvati. I'm from the God's Own Country, Kerala. Dancing, listening to music, glass painting are my hobbies. Femina Miss India has always been my dream ever since I was a kid and ever since I got to know about fashion. Being a go-getter is what makes me worthy of winning the title of Miss India. From Jabalpur in Madhya Pradesh comes contestant number 15, Pragya. Hi, I'm Pragya Jaiswal and I'm 20 years of age. I'm from Jabalpur and currently I'm pursuing my law studies from Pune. I think I'm more spiritually inclined than the others, which keeps my inner self always strong and focused, no matter what circumstances are prevailing me. Ladies and gentlemen, all the way from London comes contest number 16, Radha. Namaste, I am Radha Brambit and I am London. I am 18 years old and I am one of my passion and that is fashion. My hobbies are fashion design and dancing. 
I have a sparkling youth within me which calls out to our nation that this is Pantaloons Feminimus India 2008. From the city of lakes in Bhopal, contest number 17, Rupali. Hi, I'm Rupali Khandare from the beautiful city of lakes, Bhopal. My hobbies include singing, painting, reading, and sometimes I cook also. I want to become a feminine in India because it's my dream. And after becoming Miss Delhi 2007, it's also become my dream. The first of the two girls from the Northeast. This is contest number 18 from Assam, Sangeeta B. Hi, I'm Sangeeta Bora. I have come from the land of blue hills and brown waters of Assam. I have completed my post-graduation diploma in journalism. I have the patience and a very positive attitude which makes me different among all the beautiful girls. Contestant number 19 comes from Vapi in Gujarat, Sangeeta C. Namaste, my name is Sangeeta Chauhan. I am 23 years old and I am a Vapi. I like to eat food. I like to go and go. I like to go and go. I like to go and go and go. I like to go and go and go. I love the camera. I want to be a successful international model. I am today Shushmita Sen. And I want to prove that I can't get this big platform. Hi, I am Sangeeta Bhara. From Mumbai again, contestant number 20, Shirin. Namaste, my name is Shirin Farooq. I am 21 years old and I am from Mumbai. I feel I am the perfect blend of beauty and brain. I feel numb when I think of the final moment. But I am sure that I will overcome it. My blood group is B positive and that is my attitude in life. From the Charmina in Hyderabad comes contestant number 21, Shreya. Hi, I'm Shreya Dhanwantri. I'm 20 years old and I'm from Hyderabad. I'm very perseverant and I'm very willing to learn and grasp all that I can. And I'm ambitious and I am ready to take on any challenge that I can and be the best and the biggest that I can ever be. From the Middle East in Oman comes contest number 22, Shruti. Hi, my name is Shruti Dilip. I'm from Oman and I'm 22 years old. I believe that I have the drive, the confidence and the attitude which is all very essential to be a Femina Miss India. And so I believe that I would make a very good Femina Miss India 2008. Contest number 23 comes from Mumbai. This is Simran. Hello, I'm Simran Kaur Mundi. I'm from Mumbai and I'm 22 years old. My hobbies are listening to music, dancing and reading books. It's been quite a while now since India was glorified with an international title. I want to bring back that glory and the crown. And I just know I have the zeal for it. Contest number 24 comes from the coffee estates of Kurk. This is Sonia. 
नमस्ते मेरा नाम है सोनिया आयापा और मैं बैंगलोर से आई हूँ दिस पैजेंट इज रियली वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर मी बिकॉज आई कैन एक्सप्रेस माई व्यूज एंड माई थॉट ऑन अ लार्जर प्लेटफॉर्म माई एम्बिशन एंड लाइफ इज टू ओपन इंस्टीट्यूट फॉर पीपल हु हैव प्रॉब्लम स्पीकिंग इन पब्लिक आई एम ए कैन ऑफ पर्सन हु लिव फॉर द मोमेंट सो आई एम ऑल गेट अप सो वॉच आउट फॉर मी From Guwahati in Assam is contestant number 25 Sujata Hi I'm Sujata from Guwahati from the lush green state of Assam Family mein Sindhya pageant mere liye bahut hi mayne rakhti hai kyunki ye mera bachpan se hi mera dream tha My aim is to be a part of the international ramp and that's why today I'm here trying my best to be the best among the best Contestant number 26 represents Mumbai. This is Sweety. Hello, Namaste, Sasya Kal, Ada. I am Sweety Chaturvedi, the city of dreams, Mumbai. Se. Seminar Miss India, my dream was my dream. I got goosebumps when I was watching this pageant on TV. I have a passion and a passion for showing something. I wish all my co-contestants all the best, and I hope they get the confidence to keep up with me. From Vadodara comes contestant number 27 Tanvi. Hi, mera naam Tanvi Vyas hai aur main Gujarat ki rehne wali hu. Main graphic designer hu aur mujhe nayi jagah explore karna bahut pasand hai. Mujhe lagta hai main jeetungi kyunki mujhe apne aap mein confidence hai aur ek faith hai jo mujhe aage badhayega. Well, others might be having the X factor, but I have the my factor, which is very special. So I think I'm going to win. And finally from New Delhi contest number 28 Tapsi Hi Sashra Kal mera naam Tapsi hai aur main 20 saal ki hu and I am from the capital city Delhi this pageant has been a dream more than mine it's my mother's she couldn't make it so I am here to fulfill her dream today it's been long that india has won an international crown miss world or miss universe i think i can get it back Those were our 28 gorgeous girls up close and personal in stunning outfits inspired by the colors of the season. The collection comprises of pinks, blues and greens by pantaloons specially designed by Romanica. करोड़ों दर्शक 28 कंटेस्टेंट्स तीन विनर्स और सबसे मजेदार बात तो ये है कि उन्हें भी नहीं पता कि विनर कौन है लेकिन लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन हमें ये जरूर पता है कि हमारे सब कॉन्टेस्ट के विनर्स कौन है सो इट गिव्स मी ग्रेट प्लेजर वंस अगेन टू इनवाइट ऑल दीज ब्यूटिफुल ट्वेंटी एट कंटेस्टेंट्स बैक ऑन स्टेज लेडीज विल यू प्लीज टेक Ladies and gentlemen the competition at the various sub contests was tough and deciding the winner was even tougher as discovered judges Selina Jaitley Neetu Chandra Jessi Randhawa and our panel of expert trainers I request the pantaloons feminine miss india 2008 sub contest winners 
to please step forward. To present the first three subcontest winners, please welcome on stage Sanjeev Agarwal, CEO Pantaloons, and the heart stopper Katrina Kef. So here we go, the winners of the subcontest. The very first one. The Pantaloons Femina Miss Fresh Face is contestant number 28, Tapsi Panu. Agile Femina Miss 10 is contestant number 16, Radha Gramabhat. The next sub contest is a contest that a lot of us would have loved to be uh, judges on. The Chalice 21 Femina Miss Sexy Legs is none other than contestant number 11, Lekha Anantaraman. Thank you, thank you presenters. And now to crown the Safi Femina Miss Beautiful Skin, Saf Dikho, Saf Bolo, please welcome Mr. Arshad Siddiqui, Chief Marketing Officer, Hamdard Laboratory. And the winner is contestant number 28, right again, Tabsi Panu. And now to crown the next winner, let me call on stage Mr. Shami Bansal, Executive Director, Liberty Shoes Limited, and Mr. Shah Magdavar. The Senorita Femina Miss Dancing Queen is contestant number 15, Pragya Jaiswal. Thank you, Mr. Bansal. Thank you, Mr. David. And now, to crown our next winner, please welcome Mr. G.K. G. K. Nair, Director, Gitanjali Group, and Ms. Reena Dhaka. The Collection G Femina Miss Golden Personality is contestant number eight, Kajal Jain.
you, Mr. Nair. Rina, may I please request you to stay back? Okay. And to join her on stage, I'd like to invite the co-founder of Richfield Trichology Center, Dr. Sonal Shah. The Richfield Femina Miss Beautiful Hair is contestant number 14, Parvati Omanakuttan. Thank you, Rina. Thank you, Misha. And now to crown the next winner, can we have on stage, please, Dr. Purnima Matri, Chairperson, Gorgeous Skin Care Clinic. Ladies and gentlemen, the Gorgeous Femina Miss Photogenic is contestant Yet again, number 14, Parvati Omnakuttan. Okay, to crown the next winner, please welcome Shai Altman, General Manager, Wrigley India Private Limited, and Mr. Arnab Goswami. The Orbit Femina Miss Beautiful Smile is contestant number 19, Sangeeta Chauhan. Thank you. And to crown the next winner, please welcome Mr. Sunil Gupta, COO, India and South Asia, SOTC. The SOTC Femina Friend of the Earth contestant, number 15, Pragya Jaiswal. Thank you, sir. Our next sub-contest is Miss Beautiful Eyes. And to crown the winner, please welcome Miss Sara Benavanti, Global Brand Director, Vogue Eyewear, and Mr. JJ Valaya. The Vogue Femina Miss Beautiful Eyes is contestant number one, Akanksha Mansukhani. And now to crown our next couple of winners, please welcome on the stage Mr. N.P. Singh, COO, Sony Entertainment Television Network and Ms. Zinat Aman. Okay, this one is also a very, very special one because this is the one that the voters vote for. The Sony My Miss India is contestant number, yet again, one, Akanksha Mansukhani.
Ladies and gentlemen, before I announce our next winner, let me inform you that she was part of the contest until this level, but had to withdraw due to health reasons. And the femina Miss Talented is Nupur Sharma. Congratulations, Nupur. Thank you. Thank you so much, presenters. And now, to crown the last set of subcontest winners, please welcome Tabu. The Zoom Miss Personality is contestant number, yet again and again, 14, Parvati Omanakuttan. The Times Miss Sudoku is contestant number 18, Sangeeta Bora. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here's an important one. Before I crown or we crown our last winner for the sub contest. So put your hands together for contestant number two, Aditi Singh. The award that Aditi won is the India Times Miss 5888 Award. Thank you so much, Tabu. Thank you. Congratulations to all the girls and thank you very much. It's time to let your hearts go boom. It's time for something pulsating. She has shaken your minds, touched your hearts, and torched your imaginations. Right now, it's time for her to move and groove, and your heart to go bip, bip. Here's presenting Bipasha Basu. जादू कर दिया तेरा बन बैठा है मेरा जिया जाने क्या होगा क्या होगा क्या पता इस पल को मिलके आजी ले जरा मैं हूँ यहाँ तू है यहाँ मेरी बाह में आ अभी जा
Baby, I love you. Baby, I love you. हमेशा ऐसा होता है कि हमारे कंटेस्टों से सवाल हमारे जजेस पूछते हैं एंड दे गेट ऑफ वेरी लाइटली बिकॉज दे डोंट हैव टू गिव एनी आंसर्स लेकिन इस वक्त मैं थोड़ा बदलने वाला हूँ मैं सवाल इन जजेस से करने वाला हूँ 
और देखते हैं कि ये कैसे जवाब हमें देते हैं एंड वी स्टार्ट विद समबडी हुज़ अवॉर्डिंग माय आईज कंप्लीट ले तबू चलना द मिस इंडिया कंटेस्टेंट्स आर इमेंसली सॉट आफ्टर बाय द इंडियन फिल्म इंडस्ट्री डू यू थिंक एन एक्टिंग एंड डांसिंग राउंड शुड बी इन कोऑपरेटेड इन द पेजेंट आई थिंक देयर इनफ एक्टिंग स्कूल्स दे आर टीचिंग देम सॉन्ग एंड डांस आई डोंट थिंक द टू इश्यूज शुड बी कंफ्यूज्ड एट ऑल एंड वंस दे कम इनटू मूवीज दे लर्न इट एनीवे वी ऑल लर्न you're saying that because you still want the indian actresses to come and do the dance and song sequence in the pageant right yeah i think yeah, okay good <laughs> all right the next question is mr goswami i know i'll never get to do this on tv so let me do this here for you it's a gk question can you name the three miss indias who won in the year 2000 all the three international titles uh lara b uh, priyanka right uh Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic <laughs> answers, Katrina. Sorry, Mr. Uh, no. You forgot my name. <laughs> no, he just forgot you won. Oh. oh sorry. <laughs> All right, uh, Katrina, the beautiful Katrina Kaif. Here's your question. You've always been a style icon for the youth. As a man, I'm curious to know how you keep up with the changing trends and how important it is for a person to be stylish. I like their questions better. Can I answer both of them, oh, please? Let me ask the question back to you. <laughs> both of them, yeah. Because always helped him with his, and um, I don't mind giving another answer for that. Okay. <laughs> um, but in uh, in response to your question, I think uh, style is obviously very important. At the end of the day, this is a beauty contest, and um, half of beauty is presentation and style. So I think it really matters here for sure. Yeah, and what we wanted to know is how you keep up with the trends. Oh, forgot that part of the question. <laughs> See, I told you your question. <laughs> Um I think uh, I've always been an avid reader of all the um, the you know fashion magazines whether it's Vogue or Cosmopolitan or whichever ones they are at the same time I've always had my own personal style I don't really follow trends too much I just wear what I think suits me Fabulous and that's very evident how popular you are when you entered the whole house came down Daddy Daddy Yes Daddy. Back to me please I have to talk I've been standing here She forever It's it when I'm in the limelight All right dear over to you You know it's a very important part of the contest. In fact the round that I've been waiting for. It's time for us to declare the name You know it's a very important part of the contest. In fact the round that I've been waiting for. We're going to be presenting our <laughs> 10 finalists. And before we do that I'd like to mention that the beauty and personality of each contestant has been enhanced by the masters of elegance and sophistication Shantanu Nikhil a label synonymous with luxury the contestants are wearing jewelry from the Femina collection by collection G by D Damas Gold and World Gold Council and as they say the shoe must go on so we have patent chic pumps by liberty as a part of the senorita femina miss india 2008 collection so ladies and gentlemen it's time to get enthralled yet again please welcome all of our gorgeous ladies for round 2 of pantaloons femina miss india 2008 
all just look lovely. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the highly creative and dynamic duo of Shantanu and Nikhil. Thank you, Shantanu, and thank you, Nikhil, for that gorgeous collection. And now, after making your hearts skip and many a beat, it's time for their own hearts to skip a beat and go crazy. It's time for us to declare the name of the 10 semi-finalists. Go on and guess and see if yours matches those of the judges. Ladies, wishing you all the very best. Whew. <laughs> okay. You remember the time? Yes, I do. <laughs> Don't worry, it'll all be superb. <laughs> Okay, this is in random order. Our first semi-finalist is the winner of Pantaloons Femina Miss India South Contest. Contestant number 14, Parvati Omnaputan. I told you it's a lucky number. Parvati got a direct entry as a semi-finalist as she was the winner of the Pantaloons Femina Miss India South. The next semi-finalist, as we all know, is the uh, earlier winner of the uh, India Times Miss 58888 contest and that is contestant number two, Aditi Singh. Okay, this is where the guesswork begins. Now they're really nervous. To join Parvati and Aditi will be contestant number 27, Tanvi Vyas. The next semi-finalist is contestant number six, Farah Parvaresh. Any guesses for the next one? <laughs> okay, I'm not in the contest anymore. Seven years But it day. is contestant number 23, Simran Kaur Mundi. Our next semi-finalist for the evening is a lucky number for a few, contestant number seven, Rishita Saxena. Okay, Harshita is all smiles and very excited. Huh. Should I give the next name away easily or should I keep you guessing for a little while? No, no, please, 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 easily. <laughs> okay. The next semi-finalist is contestant number 19, Sangeeta Chauhan. Our next semi-finalist is contestant number eight, Kajal Jain. The 
congratulations, Kajal. Okay. What? Are you all smiling? Whose name do you think will be next? Good guess. The next semi-finalist is contestant number 16, Radha Brahma Bhatt. And now we're finally down to our last semi-finalist for this contest. It's a tough one. I know there are lots of guesses, but out of the 19, everyone will be praying for this last name, which is contestant number 12, Malvika Rane. Congratulations to all the semi-finalists and the rest of you all, all the beautiful ladies who came here today. Thanks for making this competition so fierce. Thank you, ladies. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, and now comes the very dreaded question and answer session. No coffee with anybody, no toffees with anybody, just hard-hitting questions, believable answers, and that's all we have for you. Ladies and gentlemen, and now comes the very dreaded question and answer session. No coffee with anybody, no toffees with anybody, just hard-hitting questions, believable answers, and that's all we have for you. It's time when the judges will ask the questions, and the ladies will choose the judges. Dia, over to you. I promise you girls, it's not so dreadful. I know you're going to enjoy this one. So all of you, all the very best. You're going to choose a judge. Judge is going to ask you the question. I'm going to give you time to answer. And we're going to have fun on this, OK? Sure. Choose your judge. Oh, my judge for tonight is Ms. Tabu. Oh. Woo! Uh, Aditi, if by the year 2050, if the women were to rule the world, how different would the world be? A very good evening to all of you. If by 2050, women were to rule the world, I think the world will become very, very sensitive because women are known for their sensitivity and there will be no cruel behavior and everyone will be in love with each other because another word for women is love. Thank you very much. Ah, <laughs> say let's get our tissue boxes out. Thank you, Aditi. Okay, Farah. Are you nervous? Well, um, kind of, but um, I think it's a good thing to be nervous because only when you're nervous are the expectations and you can rise to them. Thank okay. You. Select your judge, Farah. Well, I've got Zina Taman. Hi there, good evening. What is the one quality that a woman possesses that gives her an edge over a man. Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. The one quality I believe a woman possesses is compassion. Compassion towards her kids, compassion towards her husband, compassion towards mankind. Thank you. My God. I've got goose flesh. <laughs> this is going really well. I'm very excited. Okay, Simran, who's your judge going to be? Sir Shamak Dabur. Ah. 
इजी मान शावक प्लीज डोंट मैं हिंदी में बात करूं हाँ प्लीज आप हिंदी में बोलिए अति उत्तम अच्छा वट इज दैट वन पॉजिटिव चेंज यू वुड लाइक टू मेक टू इंडिया एज अ कंट्री एंड वाई good evening to all you lovely people out here the one positive change that i would like like to make to our country india would be women empowerment it has definitely reached a peak by now but there is still a lot more to be done and i believe there is scope for it to go way further thank you very well said simran thank you see they all very confident i'm loving this Okay, Sangeeta, who's your judge? Ah, Katrina Skep. <laughs> okay, Katrina. <laughs> Not Katrina Skep. <laughs> oh yeah. That's a bit dangerous. <laughs> Good evening um, everyone. Good evening. Yeah. Uh you girls all come from various parts of India. So can what do you feel is an important or attractive feature of your particular state or region uh ma'am i would like to answer this in hindi our national language uh hum jis jagah se aaye hain har har kisi ke paas har ladki ke paas uski apni khoobi hai yahan par uh, i am from wapi but uh, originally i am from up uh wahan par culture ko apne uh, संस्कृति को बहुत मान दिया जाता है अपनी भाषा को भी बहुत ज्यादा मान दिया जाता है एंड आई नो दैट आई एम कैरिंग एवरीथिंग विद मी मेरे पास मेरी कल्चर है संस्कृति है अपना सब कुछ है जो मैं अपने साथ आगे लेके जा सकती हूँ अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट मेरे पास एक बहुत अच्छा दिल है जो इंडियन लड़की इट्स नॉट अबाउट रीजन इट्स नॉट अबाउट प्लेसेस इट्स ऑल अबाउट इंडियन एक इंडियन लड़की के पास एक सबसे अच्छा दिल होता है हर कोई यहाँ पे कैरी करके आया है एंड आगे लेके जाएगा थैंक यू अरे वाह आई एम हैविंग सो मच फन ऑफ दिस थैंक यू संगीता राधा गुड इवनिंग जजेस गुड इवनिंग मुंबई एंड गुड इवनिंग इंडिया हु इज योर जज गोइंग टू बी अर्नाब को स्वामी गुड इवनिंग राधा When you want to be heard clearly uh, what's the better approach to shout out loud or uh, would you prefer a more soft and subtle approach I believe that actions speak louder than words therefore I would not shout out to the world my message I'd rather do it subtly through compassion and care I would be able to win people over by the way I speak and the way I want I real <laughs> um apart from that I, i believe that there's no point in making a fuss about things no no reason to make a mountain out of a mole molehill instead one should carefully calmly construct a plan and not in a vindictive way but rather in a more subtle and sensitive way in order to win someone's heart over thank you thank you rather okay it's Malvika's turn now. Let's see who she the judge. Ha, ah, she got the really nice one. A judge of her choice. So who do you choose, Malvika? Uh I'd like to choose Miss Zina Taman since I answered a question with her in the morning and it went off really well. So <laughs> Okay, that was very honest. <laughs> Hi there. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Do you think that the youth today faces more pressure than the previous generation thank you for your question yes i do believe that the youth today faces more pressure than the youth of a previous generation because i think that the pop with the population increasing and everybody wanting to prove themselves everyone has gotten caught in this rat race in a rat race of trying to prove themselves people are working longer hours putting in more and more and some are even facing a burnout so i definitely think that they are facing more pressure but also on the positive hand it is the youth who which is india's asset today and is the reason why india is a growing economic power thank you thank you Okay. 
Kajal. Yeah. <laughs> Smiling? Yeah. A lot? Yeah. Happy? Yeah. Nervous? Thodi si nervousness hai, but honi bhi zaruri hai, aur excitement bhi hai. आप शामक को जज चूज करेंगे ताकि वो हिंदी में सवाल पूछे आपसे हंड्रेड एंड हंड्रेड आप अपना जज चूज कीजिए जे जे वाल्या जी हाय काजल वी काइंड ऑफ नो द फीलिंग बिकॉज हैविंग मिस्ड माधवन फ्यू मिनट्स बैक but it's going to be a simple question uh, in what capacity does a man add maximum value to a woman's life as a father a partner or a son aapko sawal samajh mein aaya aap hindi mein repeat karaye would you like to repeat the question in hindi or do you want me to translate ah okay i'm going to translate aapko kya lagta hai ki aadmi ka mahatva aurat ki zindagi mein sabse zyada kahan pura hota hai ek bete ke taur par ke taur par ya ek partner ke taur par partner ke taur par aur kyu very good evening judges and good evening india agar ye dekha jaye ki ek aadmi ka complete roop kaise hota hai तो वो एक पार्टनर के रूप में भी कंप्लीट करता है एक पति के रूप में भी कंप्लीट करता है एक पिता के रूप में भी कंप्लीट करता है क्योंकि एक आदमी और औरत दोनों मिलके तब एक पार्ट बन पाता है और यह अगर आदमी नहीं होगा तो आगे का संसार भी नहीं चल पाएगा इसलिए दोनों चीजें एक दूसरे के लिए बहुत जरूरी है क्योंकि एक रथ के हमेशा दो पहिए होते हैं और अगर पहिए नहीं होंगे तो ये दुनिया भी नहीं चल पाएगी इसलिए ये जरूरी है कि आदमी एक पिता का भी महत्व अच्छे से निभाए एक बेटे का भी महत्व अच्छे से निभाए और एक पार्टनर का भी महत्व अच्छे से निभाए थैंक यू सो मच सभी आदमियों ने बहुत सारी ताली मारी है शाबा कमान क्लास अद्भुत अद्भुत भूचाल एक बात और कहना चाहूंगी कि आज हमारी जनरेशन जो हमारी फीमेल्स आगे बढ़ी हैं अगर हमारा ये पुरुष वर्ग साथ नहीं देता तो आज हम भी यहाँ नहीं होते अरे वाह थैंक यू काजल ओके हर्षिता प्लीज चूज योर जज जस्ट थ्री लेफ्ट ओके आई गेट टू चूज अ जज ऑफ माई चॉइस वुड यू चूज That would be Miss Katrina Kaif, beautiful Katrina Kaif. Ah. Okay. Um, there obviously may come a time for you to get married. So, would you prefer to have an arranged marriage or a marriage of choice? Good evening, one and all. Good evening, Katrina. I would, of course, choose a love marriage because I believe that marriages are not made in heaven. they are made on earth and we have the right to choose the man of our choice because it's about compassion and we have to be compatible so it is very very important to get along and know a person before you get married rather than have someone for the first time in bed before even knowing him thank you very much harshita very honest nice okay This is a very interesting round. I told you I love this round. It's fantastic. Okay, Tanvi, you've just got two choices left. Let's see who you choose. This one behind this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I get to choose the judge of my choice. Um <laughs> I would go in for uh, the one who knows Hindi very well. <laughs> Please. Shamak no. she's talking to you <laughs> No 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 main aashchar chakit nahi hota Hi hi Ho gaya main The purpose of a woman's life is to be at home and raise a family Do you agree or disagree and why Hello everybody The purpose of a woman's life is to stay at home and raise a child. I think I do agree to it because being at home and raising a child is the biggest job ever because that's the most difficult 
and the most challenging job to make a home and to be a homemaker. Thank you. Well said. A very unexpected answer. Tanvi, thank you. Okay, contestant number 14, Parvati. You don't have a choice. That's your judge. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. Good evening, everybody, and good evening, Mumbai. My judge for tonight is Ms. Reena Dhaka. Yeah, my question is, uh, what is the nicest gift a woman can give a man? Are you guessing why they're laughing? No. Okay. I believe that to be born as a woman itself is the greatest gift of God. And if there is anything better that a woman can gift a man is a new life. And I believe only a woman possesses the patience and the compassion <laughs> to have a life within her and to nurture her and to get it out. So yes, the greatest gift that a woman can give a man is a child. Thank you. Okay, judges, all the best. Because I, if I was in your place right now, I'd be sweating. This is going to be tough. Thank you very much. Thank you, girls. Uh, I'm supposed to tell you uh, sit back and relax and wait for the answers, but I'm sure that's not going to happen because I'm nervous myself. And I'm also going to um, put in a public litigation notice uh, to the organizers and tell them to remove this word compassion from this contest completely, man. Yeah, it's, uh... No, but it, it's an important word. Excuse me, the word compassion is synonymous with women. So for all the men out there who don't like the word, too bad. <laughs> I'm just saying that I'm just saying that for the contest score interesting, I want to say that... You want to say it in Hindi? Yes. All the influence of our good friend, Mr. Shamak Dawar. Okay. Thank you very much, ladies. And we'll wait for the answers and the results. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, the heat is truly on. The competition is hot. The weather is even hotter. But nothing compares to the lady who's going to be coming on stage very soon. Lekin, 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 she's not just another hot star. She's somebody with style and substance that's very evident from all her films. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the stunning Samira Reddy.
And thank you, Zina Ji, for coming on stage and making this moment truly special. What you just saw and all the spectacular star acts have been choreographed by none other than ace choreographer Shah Magdavar and performed by the Shah Magdavar Dance Company. This has been the ultimate moment. I met Zina Ji about three years back. I was completely starstruck. I still am. I think she is the eternal Miss India, the eternal beauty queen, and there is nobody who embodies beauty, style, grace, elegance, and intelligence than you, Zina Ji. Thank you. And I hope I made you proud by doing this. <laughs> Samira, you were absolutely delightful. Wasn't she, wasn't she incredible? Didn't she do such a fabulous job of those beautiful songs? And it's so wonderful that you reprised all these old songs of the 70s and made them alive and real 30 years down the road. I think you did an amazing job. And thank you so much. And thank you so much for all the very kind and wonderful words that you said. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you. ma'am. And thank you so much, Samira. Now, for the most exciting and the most tension-filled round of the contest. We're down to five finalists, and we want to know, don't we all want to know what the semi-finalists backstage are up to? Maddie, over to you. Hey, Dia, I'm backstage. Can you hear me? Yeah. Oh, yes, you can. <laughs> all right, we have, uh, we had two gorgeous ladies on stage right now, and we have 10 very gorgeous, very nervous, and uh, Extremely excited, yeah, there you go, excited ladies back here. Uh, and, uh, you know, I want to ask you all, is it a good time to talk? Oh, no. Yes, no. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> It's a good sign. See, you know, I've always, uh, I, you know, we had a question by the judges which said that uh, does the younger generation feel uh, that they have more competition to face? I don't know about that. I do know that the younger generation is leaps and bounds ahead of us. And not only that, in this case, they're like inches and feet higher than us as well. It's a huge <laughs> complex that I have here, but I just want to tell you that um, I want to ask you really, what is the first thing that you will do after giving the winning speech if you win the contest? I'll hug my mama. You'll hug your mama. <laughs> it's very sweet. Uh, mama. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> um, guys, I am nervous. I don't know what question to ask you, but I have to tell you this. You guys are looking absolutely gorgeous dressed in this 17 size sarees. Yeah, I mean, uh, if, if there was a movie camera rolling, I'd do a song for you. But hey, I can do the next best thing. So this is for you guys. Thank you. Well, they are back. I'm enjoying myself a little too much. You take over now. Okay. So hold your breath. And in random order, please welcome our first finalist for the evening, who has the chance to win the Pantaloons Femina Miss India 2008 contest. And the contestant is, our second finalist is, hold your breath. Contestant number So hold your breath. Yet again, in random order, please welcome our first finalist for the evening who has the chance to win the Pantaloons Femina Miss India 2008 contest. And the contestant is... Contestant number seven, Harshita Saxena! Second finalist is Hold Your Breath. Contestant number 27, Tanvi Vyas. be 
very lucky. It's contestant number 14, Parvati Omnakotan. is contestant number 23 Simran Karmandi <laughs> Evening is contestant number 19, Sangeeta Chauhan. Congratulations to all the finalists. Ab ek sawal, ek jawab, aur aapki zindagi badal sakti hai. Bade dhyan se suniye, ek hi sawal ko main do baar padhungi. Dusri baar, jaise hi sawal khatam hoga, aapka time shuru ho jayega. Aapko sirf 90 second diye jayenge, aur uske baad ek gong bajega. जिस पर आप अपना पेन नीचे रखेंगे आगे नहीं लिखेंगे जी हाँ और फिर मैं आपके आंसर शीट्स कलेक्ट करूंगा ये देखने के लिए कि जो जवाब आप माइक पे दे रही हैं क्या वो आपके रिटर्न जवाब के साथ मैच होता है और मैं बड़ा ही स्ट्रिक्ट प्रिंसिपल हूँ सो बी केयरफुल सो नो चीटिंग हाँ मैडी सर इज वेरी स्ट्रिक्ट ओके गर्ल्स आई यू रेडी द कॉमन क्वेश्चन फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू इज द रेट ऑफ डिवोर्स इन इंडिया इज ऑन द राइज वॉट do you feel is the cause of this? Is it Western influence or something else? Abhi mein Hindi mein naongi. Hindustan mein talaak ki sankhya din ba din badhti ja rahi hai. Kya aap isse pashchimi sanskriti ka prabhav maante hai? Ya kuch aur? Your time starts now. या यू नो व्हाट लुकिंग एट देम मुझे एक जिस तरीके से लिख रहे थे मुझे अपना एक कहानी याद आ गया क्या आईआईटी एग्जाम देने पहुंचा था हाँ कोई आफ्टर सीइंग द क्वेश्चन पेपर कुछ समय में तो नहीं आया तीन घंटे एग्जाम में दो घंटा और पैंतालीस मिनट यू बैठा रहा और लास्ट फिफ्टीन मिनट्स में मैं यू लिखने लगा जैसे मेरे जान खतरे में अगर मैं नहीं लिखूंगा so that's sort of how you guys answer this ये तो बड़ा अच्छा है ये लोग पहले से आंसर करना शुरू कर दिए थे and they were writing right till the end how much did you write time now for the answers Maddie yes um, we will start with Harshita good evening Mumbai good evening once again marriages are what you make out of it I believe divorces are so prominent in today's world because we are not strong enough to cope with the abilities that come with marriage and make it successful. I therefore conclude by saying we have to be stronger and more determined as human beings. Thank you very much.
Thank you, Arishita. Very well done. And now, are you ready? It's Parvati's turn, and her answer is... Good evening, Mumbai. Namaste, India. Well, my answer is... Yes, divorce rates are on high in India. It is not the influence of Western culture, I believe. Because, at the end of the day, it is you who is worth you. It is the way you understand each other and go ahead in life that matters. Marriage is not where one completes you, but it is where one shares your completeness. Thank you. Thank you so much. Are you ready? Okay, it's Sangeeta's turn now. Good evening once more. The rate of divorce in India is increasing due to lack of understanding between the couple. Because they can't give time to each other because people today are more concentrated towards their work. And yes, little bit because of Pashtimi Sanskriti. Thank you. Thank you so much. Simran, it's your turn. A very good evening once again. More than the Western influence, I believe it is the mindsets of people that is changing. It is not only because of the West, but also because of lack of needed education in this scenario. There has to be more awareness to overcome this dilemma. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Simran. And finally, are you ready? Yes. Okay. Hello, everybody. The rate of divorce is increasing day by day. And that's mainly because of the rising expectations from each other and the lack of compassion that we share. It, it is not because of the Western influence, but it is created by ourselves. Thank you. Thank you. Very well said. We are back to you. Well done, finalists. May the best girl win. Let's have a look at them one more time. Now it's time for all the 28 contestants to shine in the same. Ritu Kumar has been conferred with the Indira Gandhi Priyadarshini Award for her creations. The hip-hugging silhouette saris represents the fashion of the 60s. All these girls are adorned in jewelry from the Femina Collection, specially designed by Collection G by G D. Damas Gold and World Gold Council. Now, girls from all walks of life will walk in their Kolhapuri weave shoes by Liberty as part of Senorita Femina Miss India collections. 
So can we have all the beautiful 28 contestants back on stage once again? inspiration to millions ladies and gentlemen please put your hands together and welcome mrs ritu kumar the beautiful choreography and poetry in motion you just saw this evening is all thanks to official contestant director and choreographer Hemant Trivedi and assisted by official ramp walk trainer Aditi Govitrikar Nagrawala. Please put your hands together and welcome both of them. And all this glamour and glitter and grandeur is courtesy some people we need to mention at this stage. 
Our title sponsor, Pantaloons. Our associate sponsors, Liberty Hamdard, Safi, and Radio Mirchi. Our crown and jewelry partner, Collection G by D. Damas, in association with World Gold Council. Host Hotel, Sun and Sand, Mumbai. Co-sponsors, official hair care experts, Richfield Trichology Center. Vogue Eyewear, Jealous 21, Agile, Wrigley Orbit Sugar-Free Chewing Gum. Luxotica India Eyewear Private Limited, Dr. Purnima Gorgeous Cosmetology Center, and SOTC. Gift sponsored by Guest Watches, Avon, Ramanika, Lawrence and Mayo, Grand, Grand Prize Sponsor, SOTC and Tourism Malaysia, Portfolio Sponsor, Jashn Saris and Ramanika, Television Partner, Sony Entertainment Television. Official online partner, India Times Mail. Reality Series Partner, Zoom Entertainment Television. English News Partner, Times Now. Official Communication Partner, Airtel. Official Beverage Sponsor, McDowell's Number One. Official Outdoor Partner, Bright Advertising. Ground Transportation Partner, Harshan Travels. Okay, you can get your breath now. I know. <laughs> and a glass of water. Event managed by 360 Degrees Experience. Scripting and show direction, Morani and Surma of Cine Yuga Entertainment, official ramp walk trainer Aditi Govitrikar Lakhrawala, contestants opening art, act choreographed by Sandeep Suparkar, Bollywood acts choreographed by Shamak Dhawar and performed by Shamak Dhawar Institute of Performing Arts, contestants makeup and hair Doris and Bharat, stage and wardrobe management on cue productions, MC script by Siddhartha De, sound by sound.com, Lights operated by Michael Nazretti. Lights supplied by Stage Gear. Video by Vinayak Video Vision. Music for pageant by Anup and Martin of Nirvana. Set designed and executed by Nitin Chandrakant Desai, ND's Art World. Photography by Farooq Jasawala. Psychotechniques. Pyrotechnics, God help me, by Mehboob. <laughs> Costume designers for contestants, China NC, Ramanika, Nikhil Shantanu, and Ritu Kumar. Post-party host, High Lounge, Sahara Star. Oh, I made it. There you go. Dear Mrs. Costumes, Ritu Kumar, Nikhil Shantanu, and China NC. My costumes by You Fashion Spa. Male escort costumes again by You Fashion Spa. Special thanks to the government of Maharashtra, Collector, Mumbai Sabam District, Mumbai Police, Andheri Sports Complex, PPL, the National Institute of Event Management, NIEM. Okay. I'm going to say I'm really sorry for you again okay. because I'm going to be doing this one as well. Here, I get to introduce all the lovely ladies. Okay. She's every writer's inspiration, every director's delight. Of course, the best bet on the box office. She's every writer's inspiration, every director's delight, and of course, the best bet on the box office. She sets the stage on fire, she sets the screen on fire, she was born to scotch it with her name, mere presence. Coming to take your breath away, the most stunning and spectacular, Karina Kapoor.
आज की रात सिर्फ तीन के सर पर सजेगा पैंटलून्स फेमिना मिस इंडिया का ताज फॉर दी अदर्स रॉक्ट सो मच द विनर्स हैड अ टफ टाइम विनिंग टू सल्यूट देयर विनिंग स्पिरिट लेट्स ऑल रॉक 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 Time now to the Pantaloons Feminine. 
Now I'd like to invite on stage the stunning ladies who knocked our hearts last year and knocked down their competitions to pass the legacy to this year's winners. Please welcome Pantaloons Femina Miss India Earth 2007 and winner of the Miss Earth Air 2007, the striking Pooja Chitgopikar. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Bantaloons Femina Miss India Universe 2007 and a top 10 finalist at the Miss Universe 2007, the lovely Pooja Gupta. Because of her leg injury, Pantaloons Femina Miss India World 2007, Sara Jain, couldn't make it to this show. But she has sent across her good wishes to all of you girls. But don't get disheartened, we have someone really special to crown the Pantaloons Femina Miss India World 2008. And she is none other than the winner of the Miss Tourism 2007, the stunning Priyanka Shah. to request Ms. Karina Kapoor to please come back and join us on stage, please. Thank you, Karina, for joining us. <sighs> it's time now for that final moment, that moment I will never forget. The moment that changed my life and is about to change three girls' lives out there. And the beginning of three new journeys. Here we have the five most promising finalists of the country. And in a few moments from now, for three of them, the world will be their oyster. The world will also be their platform. And, my that, and might be that's why the world is waiting with bated breath to know. Who'd wear the crown? Girls, are you ready to shoulder the responsibility of a goodwill ambassador forever? Are you ready? Yeah? Okay. And so are we as are the judges. Ready to name those chosen ones? It's time for celebrations for people. Are you ready with your flashlights? <laughs> Because it's time now to declare the Pantaloons Femina Miss India 2008 winners. The Pantaloons Femina Miss India Earth 2008 is contestant number seven, Harshita Saxena.
Congratulations, Harshita. I love competitions like this because it's a time when all of us can become part of their unforgettable memories. Another girl, another dream coming true. Ladies and gentlemen, the Pantaloons Femina Miss India Universe 2008 is the very lovely contestant number 23, Simran Kaur Mundi. Femina Miss India World 2008. Karina, would you do the honors? Uh, well, I'm also nervous now reading this name. <laughs> uh, well, the final winner is the Pantheon Miss India World 2008 is contestant number 14, Parvati Omnakutam. <laughs> voyage for the winners, a voyage into the world of conscientiousness. Hope these girls make the country proud in whatever they do. All the very best to you girls. I'd like to thank our judges for the wonderful choice and hope all of you had a rocking time like we all had in finding out the very best. Until next year's Miss India, India, please miss us. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for coming. Have a great time. Drive safe and Jai Hind. Good night, everyone. Thank you.
my god i can't believe i'm actually standing here today because uh, right now i'm just thanking god and i'm thanking india i'm thanking everybody the whole of pantaloon swamina miss india crew for giving me this opportunity and taking me so far i never imagined that my dream could come so close to reality and this is just put so many respons sp responsibilities on my head that i just feel that this is only the beginning and i will definitely do as much as i can to get back the crown we all three will and definitely this year we will have three winners for sure it feels great you know that one moment the dream that you've been living all your life it just comes true in a wink i think that's what it takes i mean it's it's like the best moment of my life and i can so proudly say that today and i feel the main reason why i'm here is because of my mom she's been my support system throughout my dad my brother my family they've just been there for me and it's just the feeling you know it's just for them that i've made it today it just feels great i'm just out of words now i'm so happy i'm so happy uh, moreover i'm happy because uh, today i believe i've cherished my dream that my parents have seen for me since a long time and uh, i've had the complete support of my parents my friends my relatives everybody and i believe they they are the wind beneath my wings and you know it's because of them that i'm flying today i'm i'm very happy this crown is not just a crown of joy it's a crown of responsibility and for the next one year uh, whatever you know we can we whatever little we can do uh, from our side we'll be doing it from our heart and uh, we're all set for that i think they have all the qualities um, the special special qualities to take them international and i hope uh, all three of them do our country proud